Welcome back to Dad Life Tech. My name is Austin Hamilton, and I'm just a dad who loves tech. And today I'm gonna to show you how to make virtually any device that takes AA or AAA batteries rechargeable via USB Type-C. That's it, you heard it. I have been on a quest to make my life as USB Type-C as possible. I've even gone far as to switching to an iPad mini as my phone instead of carrying around a traditional phone. I'll make a video on that later. Um, but today I've come one step closer to that goal of making my life as USB Type-C as possible with these batteries that I found on Amazon. So I'm gonna show you the product pages for these first. Uh, these are the AA batteries. So they're AA 2600 milliwatt hour batteries made by a company called Snado. Um, they come out to about $4.25 per battery, which is expensive. More on that in a second. Um, but they, they seem to be great so far. So they come with this uh, USB type A eh, to quad USB type C recharger so you can recharge all of them at the same time. So compared to the video I did yesterday, which I'll put a link here, where you can recharge eight batteries at a time, here you can still do four. Um, albeit you, you have a little bit more complexity here, but I ultimately like this better, which I'll, I'll wrap up in my conclusion later. And then here are the AAA rechargeable, rechargeable batteries, which are more expensive. They come out to $17.99 or about $4.50 per battery. Yes, there's a 5% 5 5 discount on here, but you know it's about $4.50 per battery. And pretty much the same thing. It has that one to four uh, type A to type C adapter, and then uh, and you can plug it right into the batteries. Um, so again, the, the reason why I'm doing this is to make it so I can charge things via USB-C and I also want it to be convenient. And yes, in my video yesterday, I covered a device where you can have eight recharging at a time. This in theory adds a little bit more complexity, um, but I ultimately like this better because I'm finding that I'm not needing more than generally two, maybe four batteries at the same time. And with this adapter that will satisfy that. And right here at my desk at my office, I have three type C ports hanging out right here or chargers. And then same with at home, I've, I've got a little desk area where I have that as well. So ultimately I think that this will be a more convenient solution for me. So let me show you now what these products look like. Um, on the Amazon pages, it said this one is called Innovative USB. I don't know if that's the name of the brand or not. And then for this one, it says Snado rechargeable batteries. Um, now they both say smart tools on it, on the packaging. Uh, you see right there, it says smart tools. I don't know if you can see that, but it does. And right here, this says Lenko smart tools. I don't know who makes these things. They probably just come from somewhere in China. They seem very similar. These type C, uh, USB type A to type C adapters are pretty much the same. So ultimately they're probably the same company. Uh, that's neither here nor there. Um, these are the AAA ones. First, I'm gonna show you kind of what the port looks like. What I did notice on the AAA is that the, the port is a little crooked. I know it's a little hard to see there, um, but this would kind of be perfectly angled to where you'd put it in and you kind of have to spin it around to go in there. So you can see it, it's it's not a problem, but I, I thought it was just gonna go like right through the center. Um, so here are the four AAAs and I will go ahead and plug these in. Uh, on the box, it, it says that the indicator light will be blinking red when it's charging and solid red when they're charged. I did have these charged up before I started the video, so it'll probably take a little bit for them to uh, kind of read what the charger charging status is there. Um, but it works as expected. They did get a little hot, I noticed, when I was charging them. Um, I did leave them unattended for about an hour and nothing caught on fire, so we're, we're good there. Uh, here are the double A's. So these, uh, you can see the, the orientation of the port is different and it is true and square there, which is reassuring. Uh, but yeah, so I've got these four double A's charging on one port, which is awesome. Uh, they, they have a pretty solid construction to them. Uh, good capacity as well. I am a big fan so far. Uh, I will report back. I'll probably make a, an update video in a couple months after I've got some experience with them. Do they hold their charge? Have they caught on fire? Are they falling apart? I don't know, but I don't expect there to be any issues. I wouldn't be surprised if over time uh, I, I run into an issue possibly with maybe the the lip on the on the port catching on certain devices. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if if that causes some issues. Um, but again, you know, that would be device specific. Uh, but I think that they are worth a shot. 
Anyways, I would love feedback on this. Am I crazy with my quest to making everything USB type C or do you think that I am onto something here? I don't like disposing batteries generally speaking and I also don't like having to keep track of more rechargers and other devices just to keep my AA and AAA batteries uh, on the go. So this I think will really help me in my workflow, so to speak. I hope you like this video. If you do, please like it and subscribe and uh, leave a comment if you'd like a question and I'd be happy to respond. And if not, I'll see you in the next one. Take care.